This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for choosing WCPO 9 News. I'm Courtney Francisco. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. We have new information on a shooting involving troopers in Gallatin County. Kentucky State Police showed up on Ambrose Road after someone reported a person in a front yard waving a gun. Troopers say that person started shooting and they fired back. The person is in the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. KSP has not released their name or the troopers involved. Involved, we have requested body and dash camera video in this case. Today, a man was in court for the first time accused of causing the crash that killed a local father near Northgate Mall yesterday. A judge set Antonio Wofford's bond at $100,000 for aggravated vehicular homicide. Colerain Township police believe he wrecked into the car Ronald Washington Jr. was driving around 10 Friday morning. And we have information on a crash involving a train in Newtown. It happened on Broadwell Road tonight. Police say a car crashed into the side of a train and two people were hurt. They are expected to survive. Investigators are still working to find out what led to the crash. Bachfest is back for its 30th year. The annual festival celebrates Cincinnati's brewing heritage and Bach beer, and it's all happening at a different area, Finley Playground. It's been a weekend filled with nonstop activities, including food, music, and of course, beer. The festival is making a comeback this year after the COVID-19 pandemic postponed last year's weekend festival. 30,000 people are expected to come throughout the weekend. That means congestion around the festival's new home. And let's send it now to Taylor Nimmo for a check of your forecast. We'll see rain chances returning overnight, a low of 60 temperatures remaining mild as we head into your Sunday morning, but rain will develop late and we could see rain continuing into your Sunday morning, but we will see a good portion of the day tomorrow dry, a high of 70 degrees. We'll see temperatures remaining well above normal. We will see the potential for some scattered showers and then rounds of rain as we head throughout Sunday night into Monday. Taking a look at your nine day forecast after the system moves through on Monday. Monday, we are going to see much cooler air returning to the tri-state area for this week. Our highs will be back in the 40s and 50s.